trap Really think you are something that you bad you're not Welcome to Bomb Shelter Videos. I'm your host, Billboard, and have we got a show for you tonight. Let me tell you what. We've got an interview with a band called the Psychedelic Skeletons, and they do an assortment of, well, thrash and psychedelic music kind of mixed together. It's really good. Also, got a little bit of music from the Cramps tonight. Paul and Dominic from Philly, they sent us some music with the Cramps, which is excellent stuff. Also, we're going to review breakfast cereals kids eat. That's right, breakfast cereals. Um, all kinds of them. But before I get started on the show, I have to tell you once again, please note that some of the videos in this program are, of course, half-inch home videotape quality tapes. And since they are that, a lot of times some of our sound and our picture quality in this program are a little off because, well, people didn't record on the proper tapes. They sent us stuff like this. So please excuse any of the poor video photography or video footage or the audio quality of this program tonight and just be glad that you're getting a chance to see some of the best and most unusual <laughs> garage band bands, well, in the whole wide world, right here on Bomb Shelter Videos. So before we get going any further, let me introduce you to a couple people, or actually a group of people that I really like a lot, and that's the Cramps. And here's some video shot by Paul and Dominic from Philly, of the Cramps. I
Now it's time for something really special here at Bomb Shelter. We've never done it before. It's the first time and you know there's all kinds of commercials on TV for breakfast cereals and all kinds of food you can eat. And people always consider little quick restaurants as places that have junk food. Well I was down in uh, one of the local shopping stores in town and I picked up a few boxes of cereal and we're going to talk a little bit about them tonight. Um, my host with me today of course is Jez Klingon from the band The Klingons and he uh, sings and I think he plays guitar or attempts to play guitar for the band and most of the time it sounds, well actually it sounds pretty good. So over here I've got Jez Klingon and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about three kinds of cereal today. Some E.T. cereal, of course, another one of my favorites, Smurf Crunch Berry, yuck, and of course Trix. Could you hold these for me please, please Jez? Now, I know Jiz has a couple of kids of his own, real kids, you know, they're children that he actually had when they were born. And uh, he didn't have them, but his wife had them. And, and I don't know, do your kids eat a lot of cereal, Jiz? Yes, they do, Bill. They like breakfast. But what kind of cereals do they eat? None of these. None they, of they like uh, C-3PO's, I think that's E.T.'s cousin. And also, Honey Nut Cheerios is another favorite. Well, let me tell you something about this E.T. cereal. Bring the camera over here, John. I want to talk about this. This is really important to me. E.T. cereal is kind of like buying a box of alphabets, okay? Except for that 24 letters are missing. All you have are, can you see that? Little E's and little T's. The thing about E.T. cereal is, well, since you know E.T. liked Reese's Cups, all of it's peanut butter cereal with chocolate. Well, it tastes kind of like they rolled the cereal in a um, chocolate cocoa mix, okay? I like it. It is good. Mm -hmm. It's best dry. And and you know what's something else that's really funny is, uh, uh, do you ever watch Smurfs on TV? No, no, I well, don't allow my children to watch it either. It's, it's, it's degrading, it's, isn't it? Yes. And it makes people, it makes you think that blue people are the best and your little kids want to be blue and it's just, it's annoying to have blue children. Right. Well, you know what's even more annoying? Eating this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is Smurf Berry Crunch and it's got red and blue Smurf berries in it. Now, what it really is, is it's puff sugar with dye in it, okay? It's good stuff if you're into puff sugar with dye. It's real crunchy. And the worst thing about it is, if you eat a big handful real fast to dry, it cuts the roof of your mouth <laughs> because it's so dry. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about tricks. Jiz, do you ever eat tricks? Excuse no, me, but I'm gonna I, spit on you. <laughs> Um, I like the commercials with the, the rabbit. Yeah, me too, me too. And you know what's so funny lately? They just added purple berries. Have you ever seen them before? Well, they always had the yellow and the reds and the orange, you know, the mm -hmm. cherries and the orange and lemons, but they just added purple berries, so they have the new grape flavor. But what's purple? Lime. I don't know, I don't know, but all I know, get this. No, come in a little closer, because this is a secret. Really? No, you too at home. Just just move a little closer to the TV because I have to tell you this. Okay, the secret is they just added new grape berries and whatever you do, don't tell the rabbit. Well, that's cereal reviews for this week. Why don't you have some of these, Jizz? Thanks. I want to thank you for helping me out. My and, uh, pleasure. Well, if you get really bored and, and you want some something good, try some of these cereals we talked about today. I don't know what they taste like with milk on them because I never ate them with milk on them. I never, milk costs too much nowadays. So. You haven't lived, Bill. <laughs> well, that's the real reviews. Let me tell you what's coming up. You tell me if you're gonna stick around and watch. Ah, an interview with the Psychedelic Skeletons and some of their music. You ever oh. heard of them? Oh yeah. I you like ever played the with them? Yeah, in the, uh, I forget the name of the band, it was a combination band. Um, Motley Croutons, I that think was, was the it. name of yeah. the band. You played in that, right? I played with uh, Dave in that band, yeah. Okay, so here's some stuff from the Psychedelic Skeletons. Thanks, huh? Certainly. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's talk to the psychedelic skeletons. What is skeleton music? Psychedelic skeleton music, to be more specific, is um, it is uh, creative, energetic, spontaneous, um, loud. Is loud. it combustible? <laughs> uh, no. Well, I think it has been known to combust. Yes, but that basically that's it. So who's the members here in your band? Uh, Andrew Malm is a percussionist, drummer. Jason McKeon uh, plays bass. And uh, I backup sing. And he backup sings, and I'm uh, <laughs> the guitarist. What's your name? David. That's what I thought. Yeah, well. <laughs> and lead vocalist. And lead vocals. All right. Um, so how long have you guys been together? Uh, as a trio, it's about 
five months, six months? Uh, since about since August, August <coughs> of 84. Yeah. August of 84? Yes. Yes. How do you like playing with these guys, Andy? Uh, it's fine, just fine. Well, you write, you write a little bit for the band. What's some of the stuff you've done for the band? Names of the songs, maybe. Um, I've written about four or five originals. I haven't got any titles for them yet. Uh, so what do you call them? I just call them originals one, two, three, four, and five. Hey, wait a minute. I have a first original that I'm thinking about calling a Banzai Bonanza Bomb. <laughs> what do you mean, wait a minute? Well, he said he called his originals one, two, three, four, and five, but I've numbered a few of mine, and so if we could have two originals called original number one and yet be two different songs. But we're in the same band, so... Yeah, so like, what, original number one and original number one? It, it's good, yeah, it's confusing to me, you know. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do original number one yeah. now. You yeah. can say original number one and more emphasize... Yeah, we can that would be, what, mine, I guess? Yeah, and mine would be original number one. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do with your music here in the near future, or say even in the distant future? Uh, groupies, sex, and uh, drugs and money. And feed the world. And feed the world? Yes. Feed them with our music. Are you going to do one of those Feed the World records? Uh, you know, where probably you, not. Where you make a record with your own money, and then all the money you make you give to people yeah, that I, don't I have food? I don't see it in the huh. near future. Bad chance. <laughs> We're starving ourselves. <laughs> yes. you got to look out for us first. Yeah. So what's some of the music you guys do? I mean, you do some covers, but you do old covers. What's some of the songs? Uh, well, we like to do Hendrix and Doors. We do. Uh, we like Huey Lewis a lot too. But no, we don't. <laughs> um, I don't live today. Fire, Foxy Lady. Um, do you do your own versions of those, or do you do them kind of like them? Well, we do them similar to them. Our Doors are a lot more different. Well, we pick the songs that more match our styles. That's yeah, why. and that we like. We yes. don't like to do songs we dislike unless we do them our own way what's your style andy um i'm more of a jazz oriented drummer uh, jazz blues style i do a lot of rudiment I, i'm a more of a rudimental drummer i do a lot of snare work what is um like as far as the band goes why why did you take the name psychedelic skeletons uh it's, well, a, it's an interesting it's name. It's a long story. <laughs> it's a long name. Well, okay. There's <laughs> yeah. this uh, skeleton model, and uh, I put a bunch of psychedelic paints on it, or put in the box and gave it to Jason here, and he painted it up really psychedelic, and we hung it in the corner in our house, and we were thinking of a name for a band, and I kind of looked up in the corner and looked away, and then I looked up again and looked away, and I said, hey, psychedelic skeletons. And, you know, it just clicked, and listen, psychedelic skeletons at all it sounds really neat kind of comes together plus you know you think of if you look at it on a deeper level you can think of everybody's a skeleton but we're different because we're psychedelic skeletons you know everyone's kind of just a you know you know yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah that makes sense good yeah <laughs> all right david doesn't make sense uh, what is um i love alaska about well it's about uh, the commercial commercialization of Alaska, and it's against that. Uh, remember Wild About Anchorage, that campaign? Well, they it seemed they had a, a statewide campaign. Can you do that for me? Can you guys all together go, Wild, Wild About Anchorage, wild nothing about can change oh, my mind. Know. Try that, try that. Okay. Wild, Wild, wild About Anchorage, nothing, nothing can change my mind.
Nothing, Nothing can change my mind. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, you didn't like that campaign. No, no, it was really horrible. Very bad. I like the flying whale. The bad taste. Yeah. The flying whale. That bad was too taste. much. <laughs> and the dancing moose we can do without. Yes. So we, I wrote the song about it. And they yeah. try and make the moose so seductive too. Yeah, like you know? it's sexy or yeah. something. Yeah. Give you a break. Really, mooses aren't cute. Any more good questions? Any more good questions? Uh, well, any more original? Someone's things, upstairs. Right? Yeah, it's okay. I told them. Oh, okay. So are you gonna um? Are you gonna try and take? Yeah, as far as your music goes, are you gonna try and take it outside of Alaska, or are you yeah. just kind of like doing your trip because you're enjoying yourself right now? Um, well, we do it for fun, but eventually I'd like to get out of Alaska because it's too cold in the winter. Who did that? Who did that? I think it's light. Hi. Someone's light. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're back to business. Okay. But I got it. We want to go on a tour, uh, somewhere besides Alaska, like somewhere warm, like California, Hawaii. Florida, and any, any place that would take us. You, is Alaska Europe. too cool for you? Well, I've been here too long. How long have you been in Alaska? Uh, 17 years. That's pretty long. Yeah. I've been here 11 years. I've been here 11 years. I haven't been out of the state for 11 years. Isn't it weird? You can be here our whole life and still not get used to the cold. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I liked the cold. I liked winter until I moved out on my own and then started to understand what cold really was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That means no money, no food, and no heat. Uh. <laughs> now here's a song from us called Politicking Politicians. And that was some video footage that I shot of the Psychedelic Skeletons. That's a band who lives in another bomb shelter just down the street from me. Um, tonight I want to talk a little bit about fanzines. And we've always, I've been talking about fanzines through the past weeks. Different magazine publications that can keep you informed of what's happening in the underground in your area and not in your area or any other parts of the world. Um, I got a magazine in the mail called Blitz. And it claims to be the rock and roll magazine for thinking people. Well, I think it's okay. It's got some pretty good interviews. It even covers some underground stuff. But uh, definitely a new magazine worth checking out if you get a chance to check out Blitz. The magazine I wanted to talk about this week, of course, is called Inside Joke. And uh, it talks a lot about, it's, it's, a, it's a fanzine, but most fanzines that talk about bands and underground music and record reviews and stuff like that, um, some of them forget their sense of humor. Well, Inside Joke has nothing but a sense of humor. The whole fanzine is nothing but comedy and funny artwork and stories and things like that. This issue of course features Bob J.R. Bob Dobbs on the cover and everybody should know him. If you're not familiar with him, look up the book on the Church of the Subgenius. This is the man. Praise Bob. Huh? Okay. Um, another issue of Inside Joke that I got, the New Year's issue number 35. An excellent issue packed full of funny stuff, humorous thoughts and, well, things that I can't even share with you on television because, well, I'm limited to what I can say. And another issue that I just got is called Inside Joke Born to Laugh, the newsletter of comedy and creativity. And another one, it's packed full of just off-the-wall funny things. Wax Ink, The Red Center, what are some of the other things on here you might be interested? Love Affair Beneath a Witch's Moon. Ooh, that sounds real spooky. And it's short, so you could read it in the bathroom in one setting. Well, 
That's the fanzine of the week I want to talk about, Inside Joke. Right now I'd like to return you to some more music. Um, like I was telling you earlier, Paul and Dominique from Philadelphia have been sending me tons of video footage in, and tonight we're going to bring a little bit of the roustabouts and some medium medium, plus a cut off the skate death video. Okay, so check it out and stay tuned, right here to Bomb Shelter Videos. <laughs> Seventh floor. Yeah. 
Firing time, and I have just been in the second. At the voice of the control ship, marking the seconds remaining, the final switches have been thrown. No one can stop it. The atomic bomb is about to explode. Firing time. How it will sound? Twenty seconds. We do not know how it's going to sound, but forty-two thousand men here are watching. All of the observer ships. Ten seconds. All of the observer ships are in position in the open sea. We're about ten miles away. I can Five see seconds. Target. Four, three, two, one.
got a postcard here and it says give me a call Bill because I got a message that you might like now I've got lots of messages people always are constantly sending me their telephone number saying call my number because I have a good message well I'm expecting a good message especially after last week when we talked to Glenn and Dave that was definitely a good message so let's check out this guy's message and see how it works okay Check this one out. Should be good. I'm sorry, we are unable to complete your call as dialed. Please check the number and dial again, or ask your operator for assistance. This is a recording. Nine zero seven two seven. Lay off it, lady. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Okay. I made one mistake. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time, one more time. Remember, this is not live television. This is my bomb shelter. Okay, the number. B-4-1, friends. Declan McManus called and didn't leave a message just before his unsuccessful name change operation. And Mr. Frank of Anchorage also called and didn't leave a message. No publisher clearinghouse bucks for him. So friends, if you're going to call, leave a message at the sound of the tone. You know, this is the second time we called your number here at the bomb shelter, and gosh, one of these days I'm going to find out who you are, and face to face when I see you, I'm going to let you know that your machine is, well, it's the second most boring answering machine in the world. The first most boring answering machine goes to a guy named Boris Clifton. He lives in Wyoming, and uh, well, he has the worst message, but yours is second best. I just thought I would let you know. Anyway, if you've got something to do or you have nothing better to do, why don't you go uh, make a new message, okay? I want you all to remember out there that telephone answering machines are an art form. Take them serious. Don't be leaving messages like this. Leave something that someone would really like to talk back to, okay? If you think that you have a better answering machine message than that, and <laughs> I'm sure that you do, write to the address on the screen. Bomb Shelter Videos, P.O. Box 102993, Anchorage, Alaska, 99510. And send us your telephone number anywhere in the world. If it's a good message, we'll try and put it out on the air for, well, for all the other Bomb Shelter viewers to listen to, okay? Um, right now, I'd like to return you back to music. If I can figure out where I left my list of things. Ah, this is a good one. The Dills. Now, if you remember the Dills, they were an earlier punk band like 78, 79. They're now known as Rank and File but I don't have any rank and file videos, but I do have some deals, and it's off this new videotape called Louder, Faster, Shorter. And we'll talk a little bit about more videotapes next week in the show, but right now I'd like to play one cut off the Louder, Faster, Shorter, and it's the deals, and it was shot at the Mabuhay Gardens in San Francisco.
You're watching Bomb Shelter videos, and now more music. More beer! <laughs> <laughs> We got cave sex in these hard times Everything is vampires, hard fight first Who would pull me as that? Who would sound sensation come? Sustic man! I'm ready to jam, gonna rock this Shock the big purse, gonna rock jam purse Gonna set the earth, it's a tiny, tiny Feel the soul, set the bitch up for you We jam this round, down the line And I'll have every crap design Take out, I'm gonna rat Left hand through, I'll do it Grab that, don't hit no crap Let me drive it out Don't put me right now So pop, pop, we lock up So pop, pop, pop
Looks like it's time to say goodnight here at Bomb Shelter Videos this week. Um, if you tuned in, I'd like to thank you for sticking around and watching the show. It was definitely a good show. It's about time for me to get going, get back to work, do some other sort of job. Next week, though, I've got a great show for you. We've got um, an interview with the band Skate Death. It should be an interesting interview. Also, we've got a lot of uh, some live footage of their actual studio recording of their new album. Plus, I picked up some videotapes that I got in the mail just recently. One of them we showed some of this week, but Louder, Faster, Shorter, which I showed you a little of this week. Also, we're going to have a little footage from a tape called Desperate Teenage Love Dolls. That was shot on 16mm, and maybe a little bit of footage off the new Skate Death video. So do yourself a favor, do me a favor, and please, please, please stay tuned next week for more Bomb Shelter videos right here on this station. Good night. <coughs> in a matter of seconds, and the heat and blast effects you can see and feel. Tonight's special video be, will be from the Klingons. Let's get Juvenile off their album, Lighten Up. Stay tuned. Immaturity is so easy when you're juvenile! 